You there. We're looking for someone in Whiterun. You will pay good money for information. She cannot hide from us forever. Next time, you might want to get dressed before leaving the house. Need something? A woman, a foreigner in these lands. Redguard, like us. She's likely not using her true name. We will pay for any information regarding her location. We are not welcome here in Whiterun. So we will be in Rorikstead if you learn anything. We will find her eventually. Do you have news of our quarry? It's none of your concern. All you need to know is that we're paying for information. If that doesn't interest you, feel free to walk away. We're looking for a fugitive who comes from Hammerfell. Redguard woman. She may be somewhere in this city. Do you have news of our quarry? Do you have news of our quarry? Good. You're finally here. The Jarl's been waiting for you. You heard the summons. What else could it mean? The Greybeards. We were just talking about you. My brother needs a word with you. So what happened at the Watchtower? Was the dragon there? I knew I could count on Irileth. But there must be more to it than that. So it's true. The Greybeards really were summoning you. Masters of the Way of the Voice. They live in seclusion high on the slopes of the throat of the world. The Dragonborn is said to be uniquely gifted in the Voice. The ability to focus your vital essence into a thune or shout. If you really are Dragonborn, they can teach you how to use your gift. Didn't you hear the thundering sound as you returned to Whiterun? That was the voice of the Greybeards, summoning you to High Rothgar. This hasn't happened in centuries, at least. Not since Tiber Septim himself was summoned when he was still Talos of Atmora. Rangar, calm yourself. What does any of this Nord nonsense have to do with our friend here? Capable as she may be, I don't see any signs of her being this, what, dragonborn. Nor nonsense. Why, you puffed up ignorant. These are our sacred traditions that go back to the founding of the First Empire. Prongar, don't be so hard on Avenici. I meant no disrespect, of course. It's just that, what do these Greybeards want with her? That's the Greybeards business, not ours. Whatever happened when you killed that dragon? 
It revealed something in you, and the Greybeards heard it. If they think you're Dragonborn, who are we to argue? You'd better get up to High Hrothgar immediately. There is no refusing the summons of the Greybeards. It's a tremendous honor. I envy you, you know, to climb the 7,000 steps again. I made the pilgrimage once. Did you know that? High Hrothgar is a very peaceful place. Very disconnected from the troubles of this world. I wonder that the Greybeards even notice what's going on down here. They haven't seemed to care before. No matter. Go to High Hrothgar. Learn what the Greybeards can teach you. You've done a great service for me and my city, Dragonborn. By my right as Jarl, I name you Thane of Whiterun. It's the greatest honor that's within my power to grant. I assign you Lydia as a personal housecarl, and this weapon from my armory to serve as your badge of office. I'll also notify my guards of your new title. Wouldn't want them to think you're part of the common rabble, now would we? We are honored to have you as Thane of our city, Dragonborn. Back to business, Proventus. We still have a city to defend. Yes, my lord. I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. That is an old tale, but well known to those of us who serve in the keep. Long ago, there lived a mighty hero of the Nords, Olaf One-Eye. Olaf did battle with a fearsome dragon named Numenex. The struggle between Olaf and the dragon culminated in a mighty duel atop Mount Anthor, with Olaf the victor. Olaf returned in triumph to Whiterun. By his decree, the city's keep was rebuilt as a prison for Numenex. And so, from that time until this, our great keep has been called Dragon's Reach. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach. Wait. I know you. There's no mistake. You're a wanted woman, and it's time to pay for your crimes. Oh, forgive me, Thane. I didn't realize it was you. We'll look the other way this time, but even the Jarl's influence has its limits. Be more careful. you go tracking your dirty boots on my soldiers they're everywhere these days and not a one of them knows how to pick up after themselves I serve Jarl Balgruff as steward. Enjoy your visit to Dragon's Reach.
There's been talk amongst the guards that you are dragonborn. But such a thing, surely that's not possible. Watch the skies, traveler. All this standing around is rubbish. We should be taken to fight to the Stormcloaks. It means you can kill dragons and steal their power. Even speak with a dragon's voice, they say. There hasn't been a dragonborn seen in the land for centuries. Not since Talos himself walked the 7,000 steps to High Hrothgar. They live in seclusion on the slopes of the Throat of the World, the great mountain of Skyrim. They are masters of the way of the voice. If you really are Dragonborn, they're the ones who can teach you how to use your power. Maybe we'll meet in the field. Just pray we're on the same side. May the gods watch over your battles, friend. With good planning and constant vigilance. Even now, my court wizard, Ferengar, continues his research into ways we might drive back these terrors. We must also have ample reserves of water to combat the fires that will surely spread after an attack. But our greatest weapon? Courage. For if we cannot kill the beast, we must at least have the tenacity to drive it back. Until brave heroes step forward to destroy these monsters, that is the best we can do. Now, if you don't mind, I've got a sit. What is it that you need? If it's the war you're referring to, I'm on the side of White Run.
Need a ride? Well, I know the companions make their home here. Their mead hall, your Vasker, is the oldest building in the city. Oh, and there's a nasty feud between two families called the Grey Manes and the Battleborns. You'll want to be careful there. The rest you can find out by asking the townsfolk. Start with the barkeep at the Bannered Mayor or the Castle Steward. I can take you to... Where do you want to go? That's fine. Until next time. Picked a bad time to get lost, friend. I can take you.
Someone there? even keep track of all the people who have been in and out of this fort. They come, they go, I barely notice. Watch what you're doing! Is that your best? 